Hello and welcome guys to my first ever YouTube video. Uh, today I am going to tell you guys about how we can uh, download and install PyCharm. Basically PyCharm is an IDE developed by JetBrains.com. Now what is IDE? IDE is an integrated development environment. What Now what is integrated development environment? Integrated development environment is an environment where you can code, you can write codes with the help of different softwares. Uh, like, let me show you guys the practical way. For that, first of all, we have to download uh, PyCharm. To do that, we have to go to JetBrains website. Uh, let me zoom in so that you may see that. Okay, all you have to do is go to jetbrains.com. Now wait till the website loads. It is quite a heavy website. Once you are inside the website, you will see different projects JetBrains has been working on. JetBrains is a international community, international organization of open source developers that help develop different things for the basic needs of developers. Okay, so here you can see space, IntelliJ based IDEs, Reshaper Ultimate Core, uh, and Kotlin based something. Now what I already told you, PyCharm is an IDE. So let's find your, find our IDE. Different software, different softwares have different IDEs and there are different IDEs for different softwares as well. For suppose if you want to work for, uh, if you want to work Python on PyCharm, there are different IDEs you can use Python upon on as well. But the best among them that I myself have used that is PyCharm. Now we need PyCharm, so let's go to uh, PyCharm and click on download. Now on this screen you can see different on you can see three icon three uh, headings. One is for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Depending on your operating system, you need to get uh, go to that part. Now, since I am using Windows, I shall go, and go to the, I, I am using Windows 10, so I shall go to Windows. Now, here you can also see two different parts, professional and community based. Now, professional based is a paid one. So, we developers generally go to community one because it's free and it's open source. Uh, and we developers love open source. Okay, once you click on here, you will see, uh, it will ask about downloading location. Let's download it uh, since it is quite heavy. So I'll uh, skip downloading since I have already downloaded PyCharm. So I'll open the setup directly. Let me close this. Okay, it will ask the admin permission to ins open the setup. Once you are in the setup, uh, it is recommended that you down that you install the setup. You install PyCharm in the very drive that your Windows is in installed on. Okay, now uh, if you need PyCharm for developing work, you need to click on all the checkboxes that are here. Uh, don't forget to update the path variable, uh, env environment path, because if you don't do that, you have to do that uh, manually and literally speaking, that is a very, very tough task. Okay, so once we're all done, uh, let's wait till the till it is installed. Uh, till then, let me tell you about uh, Python. Now, what is Python? Python is the most advanced language ever built, ever built by uh, programmers community. Okay, and uh, uh, different, uh, this, every language has its different libraries, different uh, techniques. But what Python has done, uh, it is uh, uh, Python has simplified our work on artificial intelligence and machine learning. So since it is almost installed, let's cut the chat for Python. It is for the, my next, by Python is my next, Python is for my next video. Okay, till it is installed, okay, it is installed. If you want to reboot your computer now, you can reboot now, or you can uh, reboot it manually later. I will reboot this manually later on. Now once you are done, Python is installed. Okay, now it is installed. How will you know Python? No, Py, sorry, not Python, but PyCharm is installed. And now, how will you know that PyCharm is installed? You will see it here in your start menu. And once you click it, it will certainly take time for the first instance to run for the very first time. It will ask if you want to import settings or not. No, I do not want to import settings from my previous version of PyCharm. Okay, now you see 
No, it will ask the UI theme, which theme do you like? The light one or the Dracula one, which is the dark one? I mostly prefer the dark ones. If you like the light one, you can take the light theme as well. You can see the differences both of the themes. Okay, let's go with the Dracula one theme. Now here you can install uh, different uh, plugins that you need. Now we would need Markdown plugin and AWS Toolkit plugin if you we are working on um, Python. We don't. We are not working on R and we are not working on. Okay, we can install Vim installer as well. It is a. Uh, it is quite a good one. We have to just wait till these plugins are downloaded and installed. Okay, to our install AWS toolkit is still getting uh, installed. Okay, now you can see this is written here. New plugins can be can also be downloaded in settings and then go to plugins. Now plugins is also a complete different chapter we'd be covering in my next video. Start after this is done, your settings are done. Now all you need to is start using PyCharm. You can see it is a very a beautiful uh, interface. Wow, our Py PyCharm is completely integrated and installed. Now, if you have already, if you already have a project in Python, you can open it from here, or you can create a new project like I am doing. Now, what you have to do is stay assured, stay calm that uh, your Python, uh, that your name is all not already available. So, see, if I am writing intro. It is saying that environment location directory is not empty. Means intro, uh, pro, intro a project with in, name the with the name intro already exists on my machine. So I will do it intro two, and you will see that environment variables are all done. Now if I see that if I do just intro, it again says environment location is not empty. And if it if it and if it says that and you still do if you still override that, and it would cause some problems for your PC as well. Okay, intro to let's create. It will just load and uh, it will show tips on startup and how you can get familiarized with different features of IDE of uh, this PyCharm IDE and what are the features of this. Now, what are virtual environment uh, environment variables are variables that, are, that you, you that you can use to access your project from anywhere in your machine not from just this uh, by charm okay you can have tips whenever you start so i'm going to let it stay checked and then close it we will see here the notifications that we are having okay now our once done you need to create your first python project now, how would you do that it is very simple you just have to right click on here on the very window that you have created upon the project and you'll create click on new and then python file now you will of course give a name to your python file intro for suppose i'm writing a very simple a very best basic python program Okay, now once it is done now uh, to uh, now you need to obviously print it hey, see if you are uh, if you are having some issues seeing this uh, you can also zoom it okay i can't find the zoom okay, this is also a complete new chapter in our in my next video now i will uh, elaborate will explore all the features of PyCharm. Now, if you want to print, if you want to run your program, you just have to go to run and click here. It will ask us what to run. It once run, it will, it once done, it will run your program. It will just simply print hello world. So guys, this was all about how you can download and install PyCharm and use it for your uh, Python development. Stay tuned for my next video because it would be complete exploration of PyCharm. Thank you so much guys for watching. 
do like subscribe and share my channel